Hello, stamping friends. It's Jackie Ballheis from Zealand, Michigan. I have so many things to share with you today, from the new catalog, to information about my designer series paper share, to some super cute projects. So just let's start out with the catalog. Guys, here it is. Isn't the cover gorgeous? Sorry, can't show you the inside yet. This will go live on June 4th. If you don't have a demonstrator already that's sending you one, make sure you hop on over to my website and request one. I would love to pop one in the mail to you. So full of brand new awesome stamps and designer series paper. Speaking of designer series paper, um, I've had a lot of people ask me if I was going to do a paper share again. Yes, the question, the answer to the question is absolutely. And I'm going to do it like I did last year because you guys loved it. So I thought, let's do it again. My paper share is a little bit different than how other people do it. With each of the packs of designer series paper, and this one is, I can't even remember what it's called, Bird Ballad, Bird something or another. Um, ooh, this one is absolutely stunning. So here's one side of it. There's the other side of it. What I do with my paper share, you get a piece of each in the pack that is six by four, which is a perfect size for making cards. And actually you trim it down a little bit, you have a little bit of scrap for the inside, but here's the best part. You also get six card bases okay, that coordinate depending on the colors in the designer series paper. So with this one, these are the colors you're going to get. Here's another one, the Magnolia paper. Again, this is stunning. Um, I've made some cards with it already that I can't wait to share with you. But again, we got six pieces. Flip them over, six beautiful pieces there. You get the card stock to go with it. Now, I will be posting details on my website probably May 25th-ish, maybe, no, nah, maybe 27, 28. So make sure you subscribe to my website so you don't miss that information because I'm gonna have a real short order period um, and last year it sold out fast because I am gonna have a limit on it but it's coming so that answers those questions what I really want to talk about today is I want to share one of the papers it's called mosaic mood I believe and it's beautiful can you see the shine on it it's like all these hummingbirds are embossed um, some of the pieces are embossed the roses are um, when you flip it over these sides are not embossed but this paper is so beautiful let's take a look here too of the six different ones I think uh, most oh this one's not embossed oh the back side is I think each of them have one side that's embossed. I should have done this ahead of time. So there's the six embossed sides, and then we flip it over and look at the beautiful sides on here. Now I've got a couple of fun projects for you. Now when you look through the catalog, the old catalog, the new catalog, any of the catalogs, they always show designer series paper as part of a suite. So there's coordinating stamps, coordinating other products, don't lock yourself into these only can be used with those stamps. Quite often, I like to make the designer series paper the focal point of my cards. I use this, grab myself a greeting, and bam, we have some quick and easy cards. That's what I'm all about. More often than not, I don't use the papers with the stamps they coordinate with. The stamps are beautiful on their own. They don't need the paper. And that's what I did with this one. Now, if you're a person that likes to fussy cut, or you don't mind it. This paper makes beautiful cards by cutting out some of the images. And you can see I've cut out a few pieces here because I'm gonna use these for the card I'm gonna make today. Um, but I have a couple other samples to show you too. You can see I've been cutting away the hummingbirds and some of the flowers. But let me show you the card that I'm gonna make for you and then I'll show you a couple other of the examples that I already did using this same paper. So I have a piece already cut. This is cut to four by five and a quarter. So it is card front size. Now, if you do the paper share, this is gonna be a little bit longer cause it'll be six inches long, but that will give you a half, what, a half an inch? No, three quarters of an inch of a little scrap that you can use for something else if you're gonna use the paper as a whole piece. So I have my stitched rectangle dies here. Love these, and yes, they are in the new catalog. And I just picked one that'll give me a nice size frame. So again, we're cut to four and five and a quarter because we're gonna use the outside part of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through my Big Shot so that I can cut it out for you. I'll be right back. 
Okay, there we go. So now we have this piece that we can use for a different card. And on the other cards I have to show you, I'll, I'll show how I use both pieces here. But for the one we're making, we're going to use this as a frame. So let's just go ahead and when I glue this down, I'm gonna use my liquid adhesive, which you guys know is my favorite. And I'm gonna go more towards the outside edge because a couple of my cutout pieces, I wanna be able to tuck in. So I don't wanna adhere this inside edge, you know, completely flat, if that makes any sense at all. And then here's one of the reasons I like this liquid adhesive is it's a little slippery. I can slide it around to make sure I get it where I want it. And then we'll just adhere that down. Now let's go ahead and put our greening on before we fill this in. And I've got the Strong and Beautiful. This is a stamp set that was in the Occasions catalog and it will also be in the new catalog. So if you didn't get it yet, you can still pick it up. And let's see, I just picked one of the greetings and I actually used the um, one of the greetings on each of the other cards I'm gonna share with you in a second. So you're like a diamond, resilient, strong and beautiful. Thought the font looked really nice with this paper. And now, like I said, I just cut out some of these images. So we're gonna go ahead um, and you'll notice how this is on the edge like that. This was one of the images that was on the edge of a sheet. I don't know if I can find where I cut it out from. I've been cutting like crazy. Actually, it was probably right here. So when you look at this, you can still use these partial images. And I thought, we're gonna just tuck this down under there and it just looks like it's coming out like so. The same with this one. This was another one that was uh, an edge. So we'll tuck, let's see if we can, we'll tuck that one in, get that cut area down there. So there's our two flowers. And then we've got a hummingbird. Now, actually, I probably should have a hummingbird coming from the other direction. So why don't we grab our sheet here? We want one facing this way. And it's kind of fun because we got all these, ooh, this one would be perfect right here. So we're gonna just go ahead and I like to first you know, rough cut around it, just being careful that you don't cut into any of the other ones that you might cut out later. And then we can just go ahead and cut um, our little snips. And these are in the new catalog as well. Work perfect for cutting out images. And you'll notice just a little tip when you're cutting. My left hand that's holding the piece is I'm moving it as I go. My right hand that's holding the scissors is staying pretty um, straight or in the same position. I mean, you don't wanna be trying to continually um, move your hand around as a pretzel. So let's just go ahead and finish cutting this one out. There we go. And I think this one's gonna work much better. So we're gonna pop this guy up a little bit. We'll go ahead and grab some dimensionals. Now you notice the only stamping I did on this card was that greeting. And that's why I said, don't you know feel like you have to have the coordinating stamp sets for the papers. Um, grab a greeting that works. And we'll stick this on here. And there we go. We'll just put him, let's see. How should, <laughs> the biggest decision of the day, how to line up our hummingbird. There we go. And then on the inside, I always like to use my little scraps of designer series paper. So I just cut a piece here that is a half inch by five and a half, the size of my, the width of my card. We'll stick that one right there. And then we could stamp something on the inside as well. Now let me show you the other ones I made. So here was the first one. Made this one the exact same way. Looks like I used a little bit smaller of a, uh, we should probably glue that down a little bit smaller of a rectangle on the inside, so my opening's not quite as big. Um, but again, we've got flowers, we've got our hummingbird. Oh, we use the same one on there. Then here you can see with the, the paper that I cut out here, which is the, the green um, leaf, I guess, or whatever you wanna call it, the back side has this, has the yellow roses. So I used that piece that we cut out, flipped it over, and I put that piece inside. I cut out another frame um, 
uh, the mint macaron here because that's one of the colors in the paper and I pop that in there and again those that greeting is from the same stamp set all the greetings that I use are from that same stamp set and then on this one I didn't use the frame but I just cut out the roses the um, the hummingbird and again on inside I've got words on each of these along with just a strip so I hope you like that card idea. I hope you like this paper. Look, we can flip this one over and we can use that side or we can use this side on another card. But great sitting by the TV, cutting out pieces. Look, I cut out a little butterfly too. We could add this on one of these as well. Maybe we'll add on that one. For that, we're just gonna put a little bit of adhesive right in the center. And I think this would look good right there. There we go. We add our little butterfly. So if you have any questions about these cards, make sure to let me know. And like I said earlier, watch for information about the paper share. I think it's the best paper share on the market if I do say so myself, but it's all because you will get matching card bases. That way, all you gotta do is add a greeting. Let your paper be your focal point. I've got tons and tons of ideas that I will be sharing over the next quite a few months with you with all of these new papers and how to use them as that focal point by just adding whatever greeting you want. We're keeping it simple, guys. It's all about quick and easy stamping. So I look forward to sharing again with you in a few more days. I come to you three times a week usually, usually, um, with quick and easy stamping videos with for you. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.